If you purchase a home in South Carolina within the last 12 months or so, then you will need to take action immediately to prevent your annual property taxes on your home from, in most cases, tripling, quadrupling, or even more in price. Please stay tuned for this quick, important message about what steps you will need to take to set your annual property taxes at the legal residence rate. Latoya Lattimore here, broker and team owner of the Lattimore Group. Hey everyone, if you are new to South Carolina or you purchased your very first home in South Carolina, then you probably do not remember your closing attorney telling you how important it is to apply for the legal residence rate. In South Carolina, when you purchase a home, by default, the county will assess your property taxes at the non-legal residence rate. In other words, you're charged an investor rate. The state automatically assumes that you will not personally occupy the home and will charge you a great deal more in your annual property tax rate. See, in South Carolina, there are two different amounts that are owed in property taxes. If you claim legal residence, meaning that this home is your legal primary residence, then you can apply for the lower of the two rates. If the home is not your legal residence, or as most understand it, your primary residence, then you will get charged at the much higher non-legal residence rate. The calculation factors for the amount include the taxable value of your property, your legal residence status, the assessment ratio of either 4% or 6%, and something else that's called the millage rate. If legal residence, the assessment ratio is at 4%. If not, then this is at 6%, which in some areas triggers a much larger assessment. From there, the local millage rate is applied to the assessed value to determine the property taxes. Millage rates in South Carolina are site specific and set annually by local government. Here's a brief side-by-side -side example of a neighborhood in Richland County, South Carolina, with a taxable value of $284,000 and a miller's rate of 0 0.5805. To the left, you see the legal resident selected and the assessment ratio at 4%. This gives a total assessment of $11,360 and a discounted millage rate of 0 0.2488. Therefore, Estimated taxes for the year are at $2,421. Now let's look to the right where legal resident status is marked as no. The assessment ratio is at 6%, which gives a total assessment of $17,040. That alone is already $5,680 higher than our scenario on the, on the left. There is no discount on the millage rate. This is calculated at the full millage rate of 0 0.5805. Therefore, estimated taxes for the year are at $9,486. This number is almost four times the amount of the legal residence rate. If your taxes and insurance are escrowed with your mortgage payment, then your monthly outgo will increase by $589 per month. If you are escrowed, your lender may not catch this until the next year, meaning it may be too late to correct it. Thank you for sticking with me so far. Some areas may not increase by as much as the scenario that we just went over together. Some may actually increase by much more or much less. Either way, you are still increasing your annual budget if you do not take action on your legal resident status. So here is what you will need to do. You should already have a copy of your settlement statement and deed. You should also have a state driver's license, ID, or military ID. I have provided in a message or the comments, depending on which form you're on, the websites and locations to apply for your legal residence with various counties in South Carolina. Please go onto those websites or call the phone numbers provided and follow the county specific instructions for applying for legal residence. If you purchased in Richland County, then you can actually complete the application online. You just have to upload forms and fill out the information. Here's the bottom line. If your home is your legal residence and you have not applied yet, you will pay much more in property taxes and you need to apply immediately. I highly encourage you to take action now. If you cannot locate your deed or other required closing documents, please contact the attorney that settled your transaction, or you can simply call our team for help. I hope this information has been helpful for you, and we look forward to continuing to serve you on your home ownership journey. As a reminder, we are your real estate resource for life and are here to help you with any questions that you may have. We thank you so much for trusting the Lattimore Group to help you with the purchase of your home, and we'll continue to help you and your loved ones any way that we possibly can. 
So just give us a call if you need us. Bye-bye for now.